Hello, introverts of the world! My name is Cody Wolf, and welcome to, to part two in this seven part series where I info dump about my OCs. The character we are talking about today is Iris Birch, Sawyer's adopted older sister figure and Warren Birch's adopted daughter. Forgot how to speak for a second. Iris is a pretty interesting character, not in terms of story. We'll get to her role in the story later, but she originally wasn't a part of the Waste. Yeah, I originally added her in like the quote-unquote hypothetical season two of this, but then as I was reworking the series, I was like, oh, we need another character, so I just kind of yoinked her original character from her role later on in the series and just kind of plopped her with Warren as his adopted daughter. Oh. I was, uh, it was, I wasn't that attached to her character at first because of this, but I, as working on her in this video, I got just really attached to her, and I like Iris a lot. I think she's a pretty interesting character. Uh, as you will see, she was originally a rabbit, both her character starting out in the season two part of the story and her original design, but, uh, because another character later on that's going to be introduced later is a rabbit and their species really ties into their lore. I had to change her for her from being a rabbit to a different animal. Originally she was going to be a bower bird, but I hated drawing that so I just eventually landed on a goat because it was a lot more bearable for me to make her a goat than try to draw a bird every time I would want to draw her. Um, as I mentioned before, she is Warren's adopted daughter. He found her a, actually a long time before he ended up finding Sawyer. He found Sawyer when Sawyer was 15, and he found Iris when she was 6, I believe, and she's 16 at the time of the series. So yeah, he's had her, he found her about 10 years ago. She's not only his adopted daughter, but it's also his mechanic. Basically, Warren and Iris travel the waste in this cart, and whenever the cart's wheels break or they have a malfunction, Iris is always there to fix it. Uh, like I mentioned before, she is an older sister figure to Sawyer. She's kind of the person who gets Sawyer to open up a little bit more, and he very much did not like her at first, but he's he's warmed up to her. He really likes her as a he really likes her now. And, uh, in terms of personality, Iris is a bit of a people pleaser. She's just always eager to make everyone happy all the time, and God bless her heart, she tries so hard. And she barely has time to look after herself because of this. She's just always trying to make sure that everyone is okay and doing well, and again, God bless her soul. Uh, she really looks up to Warren. Like I mentioned, he found her when she was six, so he really, so she really looks up to him as both a father figure and just an older adult figure in her life. She really wants to be like him, and her outfit kind of reflects that. I can't show it now, but Warren's outfit is very similar to her outfit, and that's primarily because she modeled her own outfit after his to, again, become like Warren. She'll copy a lot of his mannerisms a lot of the time, too. I like to imagine Warren is the kind of character who stands pretty, like, stands with a pretty alright posture with his arms always crossed when listening, and Iris has kind of been copying that posture. She copies a lot of things that Warren does, and at first Sawyer thought it was kind of stupid, but now he just doesn't talk about it a lot. Design-wise, her, like, associated color is blue. I kind of jump between it being the lighter blue on her jacket or the dark navy blue that kind of makes up the top half of her face and her and her like in her uh, what's the word i think it's fetlocks and the fetlocks on on above her hooves um i kind of jump between it so i've just kind of associated her with blue it it works because she's i think the only character i really associate with blue in this so no confusion there but yeah, that's basically all I have to say about Iris. She's not really that tragic of a character who has a deep enough lore like some others. And anything I really can talk about is a spoiler. So yeah, that's Iris. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of the video, and like last time, Iris's headcanon voice. Do not underestimate me, Gilder Snake, for I am the good witch Azura, warrior of peace. Now eat this, sucker! Yes! This mama is ready for trauma. When I first got here, I thought everything was scary or stinky or both. But I've learned to see the beauty in everything by getting outside and painting in nature. Woo! Teamwork, baby! Come on, Ida, we gotta fly! Can you please be quiet? You're scaring the Echo Mouse. And if he's not happy, I'll never make my way into Amity's heart. I mean, make a portal back home. Uh, we have to go. I, I have to get Ida. We'll find a way back to you. No, it, it was true. If it weren't for me, the Day of Unity would have never happened. There was this time pool, and I met him. I met him when he was still just Philip, and I taught him the light spell. I introduced him to the Collector. I set everything in motion. I'm sorry, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to this week's video. Sorry if uh, I sound a little bit more rambly than usual. I'm trying out different scripting formats for the Waste video, and I'm still testing out what I think is right. Along with that, a lot of information I could give about Iris is spoiler territory, which is the lot of the case for some characters, but I promise I will try to talk about as much as I can without spoiling the story. Next week's video should be Warren, which I am very excited to talk to you guys about because I think he is a pretty interesting character that you guys might end up enjoying. And uh, yeah, that's basically about it. I'm Cody Wolf, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye! <laughs>